Hello folks, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install and run Jenkins on an Amazon EC2 instance. I've written a GitHub article on the prerequisites. Let us go ahead and see that. So one of the foremost prerequisites is having a Red Hat Linus instance, preferably running version 7, and then it needs to have internet access so that we can download some packages and install it. And it should also have a security group port 8080 open to the internet because Jenkins runs on 8080 port. And then the next prerequisite is Jenkins requires Java and the latest versions of Jenkins preferably like it to have Java 8.1.8 .8 version. So we need to install that if it is not already installed. So here I have in my EC2 dashboard and I have created an EC2 instance Linux instance. And you can see here, I have created, opened the security group ports and then you can see here port 8080 is also open. So let us go ahead and connect to this instance and see how we can install Java and Jenkins on top of it. So the first thing to check is whether Java is already installed. So all you have to do is simply just type Java if nothing is coming up. So you can go ahead and install it if it is not there. So the easiest way to install Java is something like this and uh, you can just choose the version number as saying 1.8 and it takes a couple of minutes for java to install once java completes installation we are going to do uh, addition of the environmental path variable into your bash profile so that uh, whenever you are trying to call java we will call the java home path and it will refer to the latest version so I'm going to show you how you can attach it to your path profile in a permanent way. So all you have to do is go to your find the Java location. So the easiest way to find where the Java is installed and where is the full path is you can run this command user lib jvm followed by the Java version that we just now installed. And this is going to give a lot of outputs. So I'm just going to list it to the top three outputs. So this is the location. The last one is the location that we are going to use in our case. So let us go ahead and update our bash profile and come here and then let us say Java underscore home equal to the value that we just now copied and then insert the Java home variable that we just now created. Save this file and then now if we do something like echo dollar java home we should be able to get the full path if we have made any mistakes it won't appear here I'm just oh, the mistake that we did is we did not refresh our bash profile usually if you log out and log in it will happen but uh, the shortcut is just going ahead and refreshing our bash profile so if i execute java home now i should be getting the path now so now we have done our prerequisites one is having the ec2 instance for internet access port 8080 and having the java also i'm now i'm going to install the jenkins itself the best way to do is installing through the m installer which is going to install the latest version of the package for you so if you go back to the github article and i have given the steps for installing the java using the m package manager itself so all you have to do is just copy paste it this will make sure that you are import you are installing the latest version and checking your uh, pkg keys also so that you know you are installing a trusted package so just go ahead and paste them and once the installation is completed what we are going to do is we are going to make sure the process or the service is started and the service starts on every boot time also so it's installing now it is installed so let us go ahead and start the service now so that should start the service and to make sure it starts at boot time all you have to do is this so now my service is started we can do the finish or the remaining configuration through our browser now so the easiest ways to access your jenkins server is go ahead and put a copy this ip address put it in your browser and make sure you're accessing the jenkins server on port 8080 so my default password is going to be here. I'm just going to pick it up. Let us say cat followed by the location. And this is my default password. I'm just going to copy it. So go ahead and put the default password and click on continue. So it is going to ask me whether I want to install the default plugins. Go ahead and install it or you can go ahead and uh, install them later also. But I would prefer you to go ahead and install the ones that you are really requiring. 
So in this case, I want most of the default configuration. So I'm just going to say yes to all of them. And it is going to download all of those packages and install them one by one. Now, most of my packages are finished installed. There's just a couple of them. So they are also finished. So the first thing it is going to ask you is ask you to create another user. So quickly, I'm just going to say demo underscore user and then I'm going to set a password. So I'm just going to click on save and continue. So here you get an opportunity to change your Jenkins server to run on a different URL or a port. But in this case, let us go ahead and just save and finish now. So my default installation or configuration is done. And if you remember, we also have our admin username and the admin username is still on a temp password. You can go ahead and change it anytime as well. So for now, we created a new user called as demo user and we have logged in with demo user. So the another important thing that we need to do when you're configuring Jenkins is setting your Java pro path profile. So for that, you go to manage Jenkins, go to global tool configurations and under tool configurations, you will have a section called as JDK. So let us go ahead and add our JDK. So I'm just going to call our JDK version as Java. So you can go ahead and specify 1.8 version because that is what we have configured. And I'm just going to remove install automatically because we already installed it. If it is not there, we can allow Jenkins to install it. If you don't know the path variable, you can go to your console and say echo Java home. It will give you the same path variable we just now configured. And if you make any mistakes, don't worry. Jenkins will prompt you saying this is not the correct path that you have configured or say something else. So you, you type something else. It is going to give you an error like that. So let us keep it as that. And if you say, for example, you were some reason having Java version 1.7, you can go ahead and configure another Java uh, JDK also. But in this case, we don't need this one. I'm just going to say delete installer and then delete this JDK also. Let us go ahead and click on save. So our, we have configured our Java path profile also. So now we have done our default configuration. How do we know that Jenkins is working fine? So the easiest way to do is go ahead and click on new item. I'm going to show you how to run a very, very simple bash project. I'm going to say, this is my first project is going to call be as my first project itself. Just copy it and make sure that you're selecting freestyle. Click on okay. And then we can go ahead and add a description for our project. So here itself, I'm just going to say my first project, we don't have any source code. We don't need to write anything right now. Leave it as it is, no build triggers, no build environments. We want to make it just very simple so that we can test everything is working or not. So under build, going ahead and choose execute shell. And here I'm just going to say slash bin bash, making sure we are running it in a bash prompt. I'm just going to say, welcome to Galaxy. Jenkins demo. That's all it is. I'm just going to say save and my first project is saved here. So you see here as of now, this project is not having any build here. Nothing is there. If I go ahead and build it, click on build now and the build will be scheduled and you can see here it is already completed because it's a simple command. It just takes a, a second or so to run it. If you want to see whether the output is uh, there, go ahead and choose console output. And you can see here, it says, welcome to Galaxy demo. So that is how you go ahead and configure Jenkins and install the JDK and configure your JDK version, different versions, create users and passwords. So in the next demo, I'm going to show you how you can attach a Jenkins slave to your master server so that you can have multiple build servers and have multiple build agents running at the parallel at the same time. And we will also see in the next video how to configure some of those plugins we have installed. For example, we will see how to install and configure Maven. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Happy learning.